Hello everybody, Cubic Zarconia Reviews here today. Today we're going to be making a very important video. Before I begin guys, uh, if you guys see the same um, content on the screen over and over again, uh, it's because simply I didn't have enough time to record um, the actual shot images, but I'm going to give you guys the important message for today, which was today we're going to be discussing the differences between lab diamonds, Cubic Zarconia diamonds, or crystals, and real diamonds, okay? We're going to be discussing the three differences, or the three different types, all right? So what you're looking at right now is the bracelet, right? The uh, Cuban bracelet, that's cubic zirconia, okay? Now, as I put it down, you're going to see the Ankh. The Ankh is lab diamond, and the um, that little speck that you guys saw earlier is diamond, Okay, so let's talk about the three differences um, and what's really going on in the state of uh, uh, jewelry sales today. All right, so let's break it down. There are very, very few uh, differences between a real diamond and a uh, lab diamond, okay? And the differences between a lab diamond and a real diamond is that, very simply put, it is simply the place where those diamonds are created. So, a real diamond is going to be created out in nature, okay, due to tons and tons of pounds of pressure, volcanic pressure, and a very, very Lord, long period of time, these stones are created, which are natural real diamonds, okay? A lab diamond is going to be created within the lab, right? And really what separates a diamond in general between a cube piece, uh, cubic zirconia is that cubic zirconia has no carbon in it, right? And all these minerals, right? There's some carbon, there's some hydrogen, but it's mostly carbon that makes these that makes these diamonds. Um, in cubic zirconia, there's virtually none, okay? And it's and the only way you can go ahead and create these stones is by this immense amount of pressure on the carbon to be able to form the the stone, right? But the problem is with a, you know cute with with lab diamonds is that first of all they're one third the cost of a normal diamond so people think that it's much more affordable um because it's one third of the cost but the thing here is that under the naked eye all three of these stones right the cu the cubic zirconia the lab diamond and the real diamond under uh, you know the naked eye without a microscope they all look identical Okay, assuming the cut and the shape and all these kind of things, they're all identical. Now, under a microscope, only the um, the lab diamond and the real diamond will look similar due to the carbon, okay, and the other minerals. Now, of course, there's going to be some imperfections in each stone, which is natural. But the, pr the real reason why I'm making this video is because, you guys know, I'm called Cubic Zirconia Reviews, and... The, the problem that's going on today is that you have companies out there, and I don't know if I want to mention any, but let's just, let's just say, for example, Standards or Gold Shop, right? They're mentioning Lab Diamond in their products. Meanwhile, we both know, or we all know, that they're not Lab Diamonds at all. They're Cubic Zirconia Stones. Now, if we just backtrack for a minute... The only time you would get a diamond or a stone checked is at the jeweler before you're going to pay an incredible amount or maybe you already paid something um, and you're taking it to the jeweler to get it checked out. Now, let's think about this logically. If you're buying a piece that's gold-plated, because that's what happens, right? Either 925 sterling silver or gold-plated on a cubic zirconia piece, which is typically going to be sold at Standards or Gold Shop, Go Cuban, all these websites, right, that sell this kind of stuff, you're going to find, you know, there's going to be no need to get it checked out because you already know um, the, what, what's in the um, actual piece of jewelry, and that's, you know, quantified ba based on the value of it, the cost, right? So if a piece, let's say that Cuban bracelet cost $180, let's just say for example, right? Well, you know that, you know, it's gold-plated, um, the metal inside might be stainless steel, it might be 925 sterling silver, whatever it may be, right? Gold-plated. And is, let's say somebody tells you it's lab diamonds, right? Well, that might sound fancy. If you don't know what a lab diamond is, you'll buy it. But the truth is that's false information. 
which is what a lot of companies are doing today. And that's something that I'm obviously against. That's not, you know, it isn't a lap diamond and there shouldn't be, it, they shouldn't be advertised that way, right? You guys see that small speck on the screen. That costs more than everything on this whole entire table, okay? That small speck is the diamond, right? So you got to think about it this way. A company is going to make more money when they say that it's a lab diamond. Meanwhile, it is not a lab diamond. Remember that a lab diamond is worth about the same or roughly a third, depending on the lab diamond, about a third the cost of a normal diamond. Now, on a bigger play, in jewelers' bigger plays in jeweler, you know, diamond district, is what they do is they'll say that it's a normal diamond. The customer will take the word for it of, of the jeweler, of course. And they'll buy a, a lab diamond, you know, piece, whether it be a necklace or a ring or whatever it might be, even though it costs one third, right? The, the, the material costs one third of the normal cost, right? Because one third, it represents the value of a lab diamond compared to an actual diamond. Meanwhile, they'll be paying the full price. So, you know, where these diamond jewelers, they make the most of their money is through the labor, right because typically the co you know not typically guaranteed the cost of gold and, and diamonds and all these things they have a weight per cost ratio right and so there the, it's not going to differ too much except for the labor right the better the jeweler the more labor they can perform the better jewels they can get you know the better they can put it together and make them a custom pieces all these kind of things which make it extremely extremely profitable for jewelers and they get to price it their own way and at the end of the day that's why you get to pick one jeweler over another right who do you think is better now you have to be aware when you're buying cubic zirconia jewelry okay which is not a lab diamond if a company says lab diamond, it's almost like bad karma, it's bad voodoo, bad vibes. You don't want to bring it around that company. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the reasons that I found out and why I got into jewelry in general and why I'm uh, an affiliate for Goat Cuban. Because Goat Cuban won't sit there and lie to you and tell you lab diamond. Meanwhile, Gold Shop, which is one of the biggest companies out there, will. Standards, another huge, huge, humongous company, will tell you it's a lab diamond. It's not a lab diamond, guys. Okay? Uh, a product that costs five hundred dollars is not going to be a lab diamond. I'm sorry. Okay, it's not going to have lab diamond. Okay, that's cubic zirconia. All right. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this you know video was a little bit more informative than anything. Um, I'm, I will be doing a review on the cubic zirconia. Um, uh, you know the one that you're seeing here in front of you. The um, escapes me. The Cuban bracelet. The iced out Cuban bracelet. Um, the, uh, the Ankh that you're seeing here, there's a, there's a one just like it on GoatCuban.com. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, um, but it is Cubic Zirconia, obviously. Um, and you could get it from GoatCuban.com. I'll just leave GoatCuban's link in down below. That's where I get all my jewelry. Uh, that's the jeweler I trust. And, uh, that's who the videos I like to review. And since now that I do collect jewelry, much more videos coming soon. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I cleared it up. Difference between Lab Diamond, difference between um, Real Diamond and Cubic Sarconia. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.